Greetings YouTube! Today we're looking at the book Skulls, an exploration of Alan Dudley's curious collection by William Winchester. Best spelling author are Professor and the Madman, Atlantic, and Krakatau, um, Krakatoa. And I've read both Professor and the Madman and Krakatoa. I haven't read Atlantic. Splash page. More information. Here we get into the contents. And then we get into some of the stuff itself. Uh, the introduction to skulls. Taxidermied birds. Then we get into the amphibians. So you get to see a fully articulated frog skeleton, which is kind of cool. Newts. The nature of skulls, like how they're the, the different sections of the skull, um, how they are knit together. We have some herbivores. Well, actually, they're omnivores. More of a classic skull, the Smilodon. Toucan skull. And the macaw skull. Well, that's kind of cool. Let me get properly into birds. This is a black-footed albatross. That's a very big skull. And a smaller albatross. And the razorbill. The Atlantic puffin. The northern gannet. The buzzard. The vulture. The black kite. It's a nice direct on shot there. <clears throat> Here we have the. What is this? The Caporalia? It's a game bird of some variety. I don't know. Never heard of it. The Cory Buzzard. The Helmeted Curacao. The Black Casked Hornbill. It's a fascinating little skull. The ho a great hornbill, an entire articulated skeleton. The rhinoceros hornbill. The silver-cheeked hornbill. Get all your hornbill needs right down here, I can tell you that. What do we got in here? The dwarf cassowary. I didn't know that. Where is a dwarf cassowary? The wreck the Australia, the American Rhea, the ostrich, the European eagle owl, the huge orbital sockets for the, those eyes they have. Sorry. The parakeet. Eh, this is a very cute little skull the parakeet has. Um, the carrion crow, fully articulated skeleton there. The skull of the dodo. One of the birds that we helped to drive to extinction. We're good at that. The shoebill and the Eurasian spoonbill. There's some really weird bird skull. I can see why this guy collected them. They are not common looking. They look very alien. The walrus tusks. The pit down man. This was artificial skull made by made the 1930s. Chronology. I have one of these. This I have one of these ceramic busts. You get into fish. Horse. Trumpet fish, the long nosed gar. They're free, they're scary looking. The barracuda. The Atlantic wolf fish. The broad barred fire fish. Oh, that's a mouthful. Wow, that's an armored catfish. That is really cool. The monkfish, the houndfish, the bowfin. We get into a 
hominid, we have a, or an ape, we have a Logan gorilla. The use of skulls and symbolism. My male in the background. We get into mammals. The armadillo, the aardvark. Ooh, a fully articulated bat. That's cool. Neef nose rat. Common vampire uh, bat. Bat rather. Common vampire bat. The grizzly bear. The polar bear. American black bear. The Asiatic black bear, which is I didn't realize their skulls differed quite that much. Kind of interesting. The sun bear. African lion. The cloud leopard. The mountain lion. The smilodon. Doo -doo -doo. And one of everybody's favorites. Let me get some canines in here. The kit fox. The phoenix fox. The Pekingese dog. That's a that's a sad face. That's not a healthy skull shape for a dog. The spotted hyena. I really like the hyena. They're kind of cool. California sea lion. The meerkat. Adorable little beasties. Here we have the walrus again. The white nosed uh, Quatamundi. Striped skunk. American badger. Hog badger. Eurasian badger. Look up hog badger. Never heard of them. The Fisher. Heard of those. We had those in New Hampshire. The duck billed platypus. The Bactrian camel. The Chinese water deer. And the munt jack and roe deers. The hippopotamus. Very dangerous animal. Kills more people in Africa than like the two most other of the mammals about their big mammals. We have the north Salouise Barbarossa. Wow. So I feel them. Full mouthful. The domestic pig. The African bush pig. Two headed cow. Maybe you don't see many of them, do you? Black buck. South African taper on this right page here. Common spotted couscous. The European Mole, the Greater Galloway, no, Galago, sorry, the Bonobo, our closest cousin. Maybe these are a comparison of the Lowland Gorilla and the human skulls. The Orangutan, the, uh, two different types of lemurs. Which is my my therapist's favorite mammal. The baboon. The mandrel. Mandrels are scary looking man. The vervet monkey. Look at this. The black eyed spider monkey. This is a cute little skull. Lolan Paca, that's weird looking. The brown rat. The Patagonian Mara. Linnaeus's two toed sloth. Sloths are cool. The rock hyrax, they're cool as well. They're adorable. African elephants, which were thought to be the skulls of cyclopses at one time. Coddled bottled nose dolphin. They're not common, they're they're rare and unusual and beautiful creatures. Then we have skulls, and I have a I have an alligator skull here in my room. In this in, in my office. We have bearded dragons, knight anoli. We have the common house gecko. The water monitor. The blue tongue skink. These are awesome! Armadillo lizard. E the the uh, he uh, Gila monster. That armadillo, armadillo lizard is great skull, man. And we have uh, the Gab uh, Gabon viper, which is very dangerous. The rattlesnake. We have a tegu, a chicken turtle. I never heard of a chicken turtle before. Probably because they, they, they're tasty. The alligator snapping turtle, very dangerous beasties. The albadraw giant tortoise. 
the Indian tortoise, that's the whole shell, and there you go. So this is a really cool book. I highly recommend it to anyone that's into animals and especially into the uh, appreciation of the appearance of skulls.